Use the part drawing images shown to build this part in SOLIDWORKS. Unit system millimeters, part origin, center, and material, copper. This is the first example for the mirroring features main video. The link to that video and other examples and lectures are found in the description below. We'll create this part by building one of the legs first, then using the mirror feature twice to obtain the four legs, and finally taking care of features that are not present in all four legs. With a sketch on the right plane, and starting at the origin for the center of the part, like it was indicated in the statement of the problem, we roughly copy the geometry of the top right leg. We use Smart Dimension to dimension all the lengths that we see here, while crossing out the dimensions we've used, and we add the given relations, including the ones that are not explicitly labeled, like these two points being in the same vertical line. For the fillets, We'll only draw the one on the top left, since the other two are not present in all four legs. We can also include the ellipse here, and use all of the dimensions we haven't yet used to position it and dimension it, as well as the 10 mm circle in the center. After making sure that the sketch is fully defined and exiting it, we select any segment from the external geometry, and extrude it backwards 20 mm. We make the sketch visible again, Select the ellipse and the circle by holding shift, and this time extrude it 40 mm in the opposite direction. Now, we create the 12 mm horizontal hole coming from the center of the part, 35 mm deep. At this point, we can use the mirror command. We select mirror, we go down to bodies to mirror, and select our body, and under mirror face slash plane, we choose the front surface at the bottom. Since we want the result to be a new, single body, we leave the Merge Solids option checked, and we repeat this process with the bottom face. We take care of the three fillets that weren't present in all four legs, and we assign it a copper material. The links to more CSWA type examples, as well as the main 10-minute lectures of the SOLIDWORKS course and other engineering courses, are found in the description below, so make sure to check them out. Thanks for watching.